Louise Houghton. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another week of Euromax, which kicks off today at London Fashion Week. When it comes to surnames, there are few British ones more common than the name Smith. So what would the name Paul Smith say to you? I'd say grounded, reliable, appealing and accessible to the masses. That is what Paul Smith as a clothing brand is all about. As the designer label is celebrating its 40th birthday this year, we went to meet the man himself, seeming very calm during London Fashion Week. And we continue with a quick update on another British designer at London Fashion Week. It's time for our Express. As each year passes, we continue to see developments in technology, so much so that it's sometimes hard to keep up. The world's leading... Drone cameras are also all the rage with modern photographers. They allow us to get up close and personal with high buildings and monuments without the expense of a helicopter and without even leaving the ground. They're the focus of our first episode in our series this week, which will feature photographs of the world from different perspectives. It's always fun to show something from a new perspective, a view behind the scenes or a moment of tranquility in a busy world, for example. If you send us your photos, you'll be entered into a prize draw to win this GoPro action cam. All you need to do is fill in the form on our website by the end of the week and upload your shot. Best of luck. Now, we've become accustomed to showing you big glamorous film festivals on Euromax, but there are also some smaller ones that deserve a mention, especially when Deutsche Welle is a media partner. At a small spa resort outside of Berlin, hundreds of people flocked to an ever-growing alternative film festival which shows another side to the world of cinema. Time now to head off to a corner of Europe chosen by you, our viewers. Today, the request... This area of the Emerald Isle was once described by National Geographic magazine as the most beautiful place in the world. So we hope it lives up to your expectations. Now, what better way to end the show than with a bit of controversy? If any woman was to put on weight around their stomach, the last thing they'd do is pose for an ad campaign. But a number of men with very large beer bellies did just that, and it seems to have been a great success. A lesson that we should all accept ourselves the way we are, I'd say. That wraps up our show for today, though, so until tomorrow, bye-bye for now.